does my hair look? Does it look okay down? Yeah. Wait, no, I missed. <laughs> you can't. Wait, I came there. Let's start all over. <laughs> Hello, long distance relationship couples. My name is Robert, and I'm joined by my wonderful fiance, Hannah. And we've been together for almost five years, right? In April, yeah. How did we meet? We were pen pals for two years, and then I went to visit him in London. And then the year after, he came and visited me in Kansas, and he confessed his love for me. And we were afraid of doing a long distance relationship, but we set a lot of boundaries and we've made it work and we trust and love each other and we've survived the distance and he proposed to me last June and now we applied for our K-1 visa. So I'm so, well I suppose all you guys know how to keep a long distance relationship down as you're all probably in the same position as we're in now. Uh, just think about putting your K-1 visa petition pack it together and we're here today to kind of show you what we did. We went kind of overboard, didn't we, with ours? It's pretty thick. We actually made two versions. The one we sent off and this is one we kept. And this is the one we kept. And you see how thick that is. Crazy. But we're going to try and go through it today and help you guys out um, with what we did. And you can follow it or you can completely ignore it. It's up to you. As I said, we went completely overboard, but we felt like the more, the most, the more evidence, the better because we really didn't want the request for extra evidence. So we um, we submitted our K-1 visa about two weeks ago and we're, we're hoping to be doing the interviews in June or July. But anyway, let's get into it. We have five years worth of pictures. Yes. So we have a lot. Oh. Well, the first step is we went to Office Max and we bought tons of supplies. We bought tons of plastic covered sleeves. We bought two binders. Um, we made sure to copy two of everything so he can bring this to his interview for evidence. Um, we also bought these picture holders. We also bought these picture holders, which are fairly useful. You get three, but you, if you double it up, you get six. So in our actual one we sent off, we'd have six photos and then we'd have a sheet of paper in between each page uh, describing what happened in each picture. Yeah. We also bought tabs, glue sticks. We spent a lot of money in printing. Um, Robert did lots of collages about our Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram screenshots, um, Skype call screenshots. But we'll go into that in a second. So yeah, we, I think be prepared to spend a lot of money just getting it all together because it does add up quickly, especially if you don't have a color printer at home or even on, if you're going to be buying color print cartridges, it's going to cost you a lot of money, right? Like how many, how many cents a page was it? I think I spent like thirty dollars in color printing yeah and then also, the rest was black and white so it's cheaper so we also did scanning and also obviously um currently it's 535 dollars right to send it off the first thing we included was just a quick uh cover letter um that's just uh for hannah to kind of first thing they see introduce us what we're about who we are just a short quick page both of us signed it, um, but obviously before that we had the check, which is the most important thing. Uh, we'd advise just have the check at the front of the book. It's the first thing they see because at the end of the day, the person receiving this down in Dallas, Texas, doesn't care about the packet. They care about checking the money, right? And they Straight cashed away. it the day they got it, so make sure you have that money. So we just included, you know, the payment, uh, the G1145 form. Uh, then we had the I-29F, I-29F extra info, which Hannah wrote about our relationship. So they, they should always go at the front because they're the most important things. Then we had passport pictures from both of us, uh, birth certificate copy. With them. Then we got into the proof of meeting in the past two years, which is a um, requirement of the visa. Then we had proof of ongoing relationship, which went all the way back to when we basically first started talking to each other on Interpals, which is a pen pal website where we first met. And then we had some references from our friends and family, which I haven't seen many people do on YouTube, but I thought it was a good idea because um, they want to they see mutual friends, right, don't they? You, we got our friends and family to write us a letter saying when they've met Robert or when his family met me and how they are really excited for us to get married and how they think we have such a strong relationship. And it's just really good proof. We had like 12 letters, mm -hmm. so... You don't have to do it, but it's good proof. And make sure oh. you have a picture with them. Yeah, we had pictures. We paper clipped them to them. But with anyway. Them. So it's proof that we know them instead of just asking a random person to sign this. So yes, we had the I-129F and then we advise 
in the section that says, I can't remember the section, uh, part number two, item number 54, page eight, there's a section there that says how we first met. It's, uh, it's really short, so I advise you uh, take some time and write a quick page, not, not nothing more than a page, just a page about how we met, just in depth, because that little paragraph probably has room for maybe 30 words, which really isn't enough when you're describing like five years of relationship. So we went ahead and wrote a full on page which Hannah signed and dated. Um, and then we moved on into the next important stuff, uh, like passport covers. Um, probably won't show you those, but <laughs> passport from her with all the pages, uh, passport for me with just the pages that have the stamps on with the US um, entry, like stamps. Cause I've been here six or seven times. So I've got quite a few now. I think we did all yours just in case, right? Uh, then we have her birth certificate, um, just a copy of that, um, signed and dated again. And then uh, we get into the intent to marry section. So you have to, we wrote a little table of contents again in the intent to marry section, which just includes um, both our letters of intent, which you can find a template on. I'll leave a link in the description to that. We just used a, a short little template that we signed and changed. Then I had my engagement ring receipt, and then we had some correspondence with some wedding venues we've been looking at around the country, um, just to prove that we're starting to look at actually getting married. We're not just saying we're going to get married, just some proof that, because I've seen a few people on, on the internet get requests for more information through this section. So it's just a good idea just to prove that you really are starting to look at getting married. Um, don't leave it to chance. So basically we split this up into pictures first, then we had screenshots of social media posts, which I spent forever making some collages to print out on singular pages. Um, then we had things like um, receipts that we'd collected. So if you're- Like uh, ticket stubs. If you're still a couple of years away from putting the packet together, we'd just like collect everything. So it really helped us out, didn't it? And date everything. So yeah, yeah, ticket stubs, uh, hotel rooms. Like I had the hotel room from the night before we flew out to get engaged, that was brilliant. Like has a really good date on it from last year, proving we were together. What else did we include? Plane tickets? All our plane tickets. What else did we um, do? We've been writing journals to each other back and forth, and so we screenshotted, or I guess we copied posts where we talked about how much we loved each other, or we would paste ticket stubs and receipts, and um, like we went to a lot of basketball games together, and we glued those in the journal and copied them. So it's just like selection of photos. Because this is the copy one, we didn't include the sheet that had all the information on each photo. But as I said, we numbered each photo one to six and then we'd have a sheet in between. Like you went, went ahead and wrote about descriptions of like hundreds of photos that took you ages. But. Well, they have no idea who you are, or who you know, or where you've been. So you have mm. to go into detail. And So here's a selection of photos we had from the past two years. Luckily. We've seen each other five times in the past two years, so we had plenty to draw from. Um, and we went to Walgreens actually, didn't we? They were pretty cheap. Um, it was actually next for, day. Look for discount codes. We saved like $30 on a discount code. Yeah, I think we printed out 240 photos, because you got to bear in mind we were doing two, so we doubled everything. And it was what, $50? And then you got saved codes. $30 or something. It was like something. $38 off. We got these for about 12 bucks from Walgreens next day, or like next hour printing as well. So either them or like, who else would you recommend for pictures? Like Shutterfly normally has deals if you sign up, you can get a hundred photos for free, but obviously you have to pay for shipping and it takes a while. So we just, we needed it the next day. So yeah, again, this is just um, some screenshots. We don't know how well you can see these, they're probably pretty bright, but I'll do a, a zoomed in shot. But these are just profile photos I've had of us together. And then also included a screenshot of uh, the fact that we have uh, 41 mutual friends. Because again, it proves that we're not just faking it. It's not just me and her talking. We know people, and of course we do. We know each other's families and friends. We're friends. We have so many neutral friends now. It's just proof that you're talking and it's not just, you know, you and one other person. So yeah, there's screenshots, uh, collages that I made from our Facebook posts that we've done of each other, um, of like the engagement, um, boot group gatherings for her graduation recently, like huge, you know, like 30 people from her family there. Um, just again showing that we know other people not just ourselves. Robert attended my university graduation, um, just big life events. Christmas together, friends. Um, friends engagement, we were there. I decided to include three shots for the engagement because it's like one of the biggest highlights of our uh, relationship so far. So I had the, 
the posts we made, uh, you know, how many likes we got, um, all the people's comments supporting us. It sounds really vain, but this is stuff that you should be submitting um, just to prove that people know you. Um, just, yeah, more screenshots, screenshots of friends that have posted on our walls, like her best friend posted photos of her really happy after the engagement again. Uh, our engagement party that his parents threw for us. Um, we had a long distance relationship Facebook group uh, actually write a post about our story, so I included that. Um, then we get into like things like ticket stubs. Uh, for games, the hotel, train tickets, um, like a cash machine, so she took money out in England, so that just shows that she's in England taking money out. Lots of movie stubs, they're probably the easiest thing to collect, because we go to the movies like once a week, so just collect stubs. You know, car insurance agreements, um, then we got into like love letters, right? We didn't, we didn't date these, but we included them. Um, There's lots of like anniversary, birthday cards. Um, this was our engagement party invitation that Robert's parents threw for us. Pretty much included everything. We went a bit overboard, as we said, at the top of the video, but... Graduation we, cards, birthday cards... We just really didn't want that request of ever, more evidence, because that just add, adds unnecessary months onto your, uh, onto your application. We and also your, included engagement cards that people mm -hmm. had sent to us, wishing us congrats. And if you're a genuine couple, you should have all the evidence and, you know, you don't want to be adding two months on when they request some more information, so... Anyway, this is uh, proof of ongoing relationship, so this is now from beyond two years, all the way back to when we start, first started talking. It just proves that, you know, we're not just picked up a random relationship to get a visa in the past two years. It's proven that we have known each other for five, six, seven years now and, we're, you know, we've always been talking. So, this one was a little bit had a little bit more evidence in it just because we had more stuff this time around so we had I included a lot of Instagram and Snapchat screenshots in this one we talk on kick messenger unfortunately kick messenger doesn't include the date so um, we just did montages of like cute screenshots we'd send each other mainly her she screenshotted everything I write <laughs> and recently Skype deleted all of the messages from how far back? Well, Skype only now seem to uh, record all your Skype calls and texts for six months. So, so we... We lucked out on that. We so lost all that. I managed to find a third party uh, website that kind of can get them all in a log. So I'll leave a description, um, leave a uh, link to that in the description as well. But we included Skype call logs, kick messages, Facebook messages, some Interpals messages from when we first started talking about Interpals. And then also, um, one of Hannah's mentioned before, but we also kept a relationship journal. So we'd write, you know, daily, just daily going on, going ons in our lives, and we'd send it backwards and forwards between each other. And that had tons of evidence in, in it as well. And we scanned those. And then basically, we just wrote a quick little thank you letter at the end, just to say sorry for being a pain in the ass. That was a really long application, and we signed it. And yeah, that's basically our packet. And this is all the original evidence that we wanted to keep. Um, Pretty thick. So yeah, the, the one we sent off was 176 pages, but we've seen ones on YouTube that are far less than that, so we don't think we need to include all of that. Um, we just went overkill, didn't we? Not everyone dates for five years and is able to see each other that much. Yeah. So if you are thinking about uh, putting your K1 visa application together but don't know much about it, basically waiting times at the moment are between four and a half and seven months at waiting centres. Um, we're hoping it'll be only be four for us because we have so much evidence. Um, and usually if you don't know much about the process, you usually put this together and then you get a notice of action one saying they received it, you get a notice of action two saying they reviewed it, and then usually um, the person, uh, the beneficiary, which is myself, and as the petitioner in America, I'm gonna have to go to the London Embassy and do an interview. You also have to do it on a medical exam. And then they usually give you uh, like a sealed envelope with the visa. They take your passport away, give it back to you in about five business days. That's when you have your K-1 visa. You get given a sealed envelope from the medical that you're not allowed to open. You go to America and then you have 90 days to marry. So we're hoping, uh, we're hoping in the fourth, but yeah. Fingers crossed. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. Uh, if you have any comments, I'm pretty active on YouTube, so please feel free to um, add any questions you have in the comments. I'll be quick to reply to them, and we'll probably upload a couple more videos as the process continues on. And yeah, if you want to stay tuned about how you know how things go for us, do subscribe. Um, it'd be great to see you around on the channel. Anyway, once again, I've been Robert. I'm Hannah. And uh, good luck to everyone out there. Bye bye.
Nice. 